Hello students, today we will be studying the cross anatomical features of the pancreas. Now what we see here is a specimen of pancreas. Now basically pancreas is a gland related to the gastrointestinal system. It's a soft lobulated gland having both exocrine as well as endocrine parts. From where to where does it extend? It extends from the C-shaped concavity of the duodenum extending towards the left side and goes up to the hilum of the spleen. It lies on the posterior abdominal wall and majority of its part is retroperitoneal that is it lies behind the peritoneal cavity. Where is it situated? It lies in the posterior parts of the epigastric region and the left hypochondriac region of the abdomen. What is the shape of the gland as you can see here it is a retort flask shaped structure with the ball of the retort resembling the head of the pancreas size of the pancreas the length is anything between 12 to 15 centimeters its breadth is 3 to 4 centimeters while its thickness is about 1.5 to 2 centimeters and the gland weighs about 80 to 90 grams. Now let us see the presenting parts of the gland. Four parts, the head, the narrow neck, the body which tapers to form the tail of the pancreas. So four parts, head which also has a hook like process along the inferior aspect which is called as the uncinate process, neck, body and tail. Head is contained within the C-shaped concavity of the duodenum. It is flattened anteroposteriorly and lies at the level of L1, L2 vertebra. It has two surfaces, an anterior surface and a posterior surface and four borders, a superior border, an inferior border, a right border and a left border and one process that's the uncinate process. The anterior surface of the head is related in the upper part to the transverse colon and in the lower part to the coils of jejunum. The posterior surface is related to the inferior vena cava with the renal veins, right crust of diaphragm, bile duct and more posterior to the inferior vena cava it is related to the right psoas major muscle, the right sympathetic trunk, body and transverse processes of L1 and L2 vertebra. The superior border is related to the first part of the duodenum, while the right, inferior and the left borders are related correspondingly to the second, third and fourth parts of the duodenum. The uncinate process is related anteriorly to the superior mesenteric vessels while posteriorly the uncinate process is related to the abdominal iota and superiorly it is related to the left renal vein. The junction between the head and the neck can be identified anteriorly by the presence of the gastroduodenal artery while posteriorly it can be demarcated by the right margin of the groove for the portal vein. The neck of the pancreas is about 2 cm long. This too is flattened anteroposteriorly having two surfaces an anterior surface and a posterior surface and two borders a superior border and an inferior border. Anteriorly the neck is related to the lesser sac which separates it from the pyloric end of the stomach while the posterior surface is related to the superior mesenteric vessels in the lower part and the portal vein in the upper part. The superior border of the neck is related to the first part of duodenum while the inferior border of the neck gives attachment to the root of transverse mesocolon. The junction of the neck and body can be identified posteriorly by the left margin of the groove for the portal vein. Let us now see the body of the pancreas. 
द बॉडी इज प्रिजमोइड इन शेप और ट्राइंगुलर ऑन क्रॉस सेक्शन इट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम फ्रंट ऑफ द एबडामिन लायोटा टू फ्रंट ऑफ द लेफ्ट किडनी इट हैज थ्री सर्फिसेस एंट्रो सुपीरियर सर्फिस एंट्रो इन्फीरियर सर्फिस एंड द पोस्टीरियर सर्फिस एंड थ्री बॉर्डर्स सुपीरियर बॉर्डर एंटीरियर बॉर्डर एंड द इन्फीरियर बॉर्डर द एंट्रो सुपीरियर सर्फिस इज रिलेटेड टू द लेसर सैक विच सेपरेट्स इट फ्रॉम द स्टमक द एंट्रो इन्फीरियर सर्फिस इज रिलेटेड टू द ड्यूडो जेजिनल फ्लेक्शर कॉइल्स ऑफ जेजिनम लेफ्ट कोलिक फ्लेक्शर वाइल द पोस्टीरियर सर्फिस इज रिलेटेड टू द एबडामिनल आयोटा विथ ओरिजिन ऑफ द सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी द लेफ्ट क्रस ऑफ डायफ्रेम लेफ्ट सुवास मेजर मसल एंड सिंपथेटिक ट्रंक लेफ्ट सुपरारिनल ग्लैंड लेफ्ट किडनी लेफ्ट रीनल वेसल्स पेलविस ऑफ द लेफ्ट यूरेटर लेफ्ट सुपरारिनल एंड लेफ्ट गोनेडल वेन्स एंड द स्लिनिक वेन द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर नियर इट्स राइट एंड शोज अ एलिवेशन विच इज कॉल्ड एज द ट्यूबर ओमेंटाले इट्स अ कॉनिकल प्रोजेक्शन सीन एट द राइट एंड ऑफ द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर इट्स रिलेटेड टू द सीलियक आर्टरी जस्ट अबव द ट्यूबर ओमेंटाले एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द बॉर्डर इज रिलेटेड टू द टॉर्चुअसली रनिंग स्प्लिनिक आर्टरी the anterior border gives attachment to the root of the transverse mesocolon the inferior border near the right end is related to the superior mesenteric vessels the tail of pancreas is the narrow left end of the gland which passes between the layers of the linorenal ligament and reaches the hilum of the spleen the tail is the most mobile part of the gland and is the only intraperitoneal part while the rest of the three parts lie behind the peritoneal cavity and thus are retroperitoneal the tail lies at a higher level as compared to the body it lies at the level of the t12 vertebra anteriorly the tail is related to the lesser sac which separates it from the stomach posteriorly it is related to the spleen and the splenic vessels while inferiorly the tail is related to the left colic flexor the junction between the body and the tail can be demarcated posteriorly by the junction between the retroperitoneal and peritoneal parts of the gland we now go on to study the posterior relations of the entire pancreas with the help of a diagram now here we see the pancreas which we have kept on the image and just to study the posterior relations of all the parts of the pancreas as is seen here we see that it is related to the inferior vena cava with the bile duct the portal vein the renal vessels the splenic vein the right crust of diaphragm abdominal lyota with the superior mesenteric artery left cross of diaphragm with the superior mesenteric vein the gonadal vein of the left side the suprarenal vein of the left side the left psoas major muscle the left suprarenal gland the left kidney pelvis of left ureter spleen hilum of the spleen with the vessels entering it so these are all the posterior relations of all the parts of the pancreas now we will be studying the duct system of the pancreas the pancreas has two ducts the main pancreatic duct and the accessory duct the main pancreatic duct or the duct of virsan begins at the tail and travels towards the right as it travels towards the right it receives number of ducts at acute angles giving rise to the herring bone pattern as it reaches the right end it approaches the posterior medial wall of the second part of the duodenum where it meets the bile duct and in the wall of the duodenum these two ducts unite to form the ampulla of waiter 
which opens on the summit of the major duodenal papilla which lies 8 to 10 cm distal to the pylorus the accessory duct or the duct of santorini receives secretions from the uncinate process passes upwards and towards the right traveling in front of the main duct opens into the duodenum at the minor duodenal papilla which is 2 cm above and ventral to the major duodenal papilla let us now see the arterial supply of the pancreas the head and the neck receive the arterial supply from ventral and dorsal anastomosis of the superior and inferior pancreatico duodenal arteries while the body and the tail receive the blood from pancreatic branches of the splenic artery the venous drainage the veins correspond to the arteries drain into the superior mesenteric splenic veins and the trunk of the portal vein lymphatic drainage from the head and the neck drains into the pancreatic duodenal group of lymph nodes while the lymphatics from the body and tail drain into the pancreatic splenic group of lymph nodes finally the lymph drains into the celiac and the superior mesenteric group of preaortic lymph nodes the nerve supply of the pancreas the sympathetic supply comes from the celiac and superior mesenteric plexuses while the parasympathetic supply is derived from both the vagus nerves thus we have studied the gross anatomical features of the pancreas